everyone my name is Odette welcome to another episode of cooking with Odette today I'm going to be making a goosey pudding we have four cups of our goosey that's melon seed smoked fish that's black pepper a teaspoon of salt two billion cube habanero pepper and my blended garlic and ginger with some onions in it too a cup of warm water and our wrap you can use plantain leaves but that was so difficult for me to get so I have my aluminium wrap I'm going to go ahead and blend my spices my fish is cooking a goosey pudding is a delicious meal that is enjoyed in Cameroon it is very good you can put green beans and carrot if you like but today I'm not putting either of them my egusi was rinsed in the morning and dried because it was sunny outside the reason why I rinsed my egusi is because sometimes you may have dust or sand so I'm going to go ahead and blend the egusi Red blender to blend your egusi if you don't want to add water I do have a last batch of my egusi I'll go ahead and put there the light is not on our favor today so I'm sorry for that darkness my teaspoon of salt this is a very good meal to cook when you're taking a road trip or long travel because it's packed meal you don't need to worry about warming your food this is my blender spices I love my goosey pudding with a little bit of spice so go ahead and mix I have to mix until everything is well incorporated to avoid the lumps Add my water. Today I use warm water. Usually I'll mix my spices with my fish and use the stock on the thing. But today I just put like that. Add my black pepper. Goosey to be delicious goosey pudding. My water is boiling, so I'm going to wrap my goosey. I have this is a little bit of canola oil. This is just to avoid the pudding from sticking on the pan or the foil. Oh, I would have loved to have my plantain sleeve, but. Right? That's some of the drawbacks of living in a state where you have few Africans. Go ahead and cover. This pot is very good, it's ideal because it traps all the steam in there. So I'm just gonna let it cook. I'll be checking to see if the water is dry. I'll add my water. That's it, very easy. I'm going now to put my water. I'll just cover it. See? Traps all the heat. I'm gonna let that cook. Ooh, look at that. See what the um oil did. Wow, look, it's very hot. That's how you want your goosey to be. Go ahead and taste our goosey. Hmm, it's delicious. The pepper gives a little kick to the goosey pudding. My daughter says it's a little spongy, like a spongy cake, which is delicious. That's how I want my goosey pudding to be. Please, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Put a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.